Hey guys, this is Shane Hennessy here. I am in Whelan's in Dublin at the moment where I am just finished my sound check and I am going to be playing here live later on, my final gig of 2018. While I was here, I thought I might give you a little bit of a rundown about the equipment that I'm using at the moment. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll start with uh, the guitar that I'm uh, currently using. This is a, uh, a Maton uh, custom shop guitar. It's called the SH Traditional. Um, this is a guitar that I designed. and. Uh, it comes from Maton's custom shop made by their luthier Andy Allen and uh, it really is a, a marvellous instrument so the, uh, the deal with this guitar is they've got a couple of new bracing patterns going on and they've got a slightly wider bout down here and a slightly thinner bout up here which I really like uh, sound wise um, spruce on top and uh, I think it's Indian rosewood on the back and sides um, but Maton are, are kind of a must have for anybody who's a performing musician I think um, their pickup systems are super, it's the reason I use their guitars, they're really road uh, friendly and they take an awful lot of abuse and they continue to sound great so that's why I use them, they're made in Melbourne, Australia so uh, if you want to sound good, step one is getting yourself a mate on. Um, over here then I've got my pedal board, um, so what I've got on this at the moment, um, very simple, a Boss tuner. Um, I've got a, an AER colorizer, this is part of their Pocket Tools series and this is, um, this is essentially a DI, but what I find is that it really fattens up the mid-range of the guitar in particular. It's got a couple of different knobs that I use, um, that I tweak during the set for different reasons. Um, this one brings up the bass and the treble amount. Uh, this one brings up generally the, uh, the mid amount. Um, but it, it is a really, really useful tool. If there's one um, piece of gear that I'd recommend to make your sound a little bit fuller, it's probably the colorizer. Um, it's a super piece of gear. Um, then the other things I have on my pedal board, I've got a, a Boss Super Octave. So this is, if you've seen me live, that big low thumping sound that I get in some of the songs. Um, the reason I use this one above the other ones is it's one of the only ones where you can split your guitar signal and your octave signal. So you'll see here I've got two outputs running out of this. Um, I've got a direct out which is going into the rest of my pedal board, that's my guitar signal and then I've got the output which is the octave signal and that's running straight into the desk, into the PA system. Um, so that's the Boss Super Octave. Um, then we've got a TC Electronic Flashback, this is a delay pedal, I use this for tunes like Marrakesh uh, and Rain Dance and uh, a couple of the uh, tunes that are on the new album have uh, little hints of delay here and there as well. Um, and I like it just because it's a, a nice, reliable pedal. Um, the cool thing about it is it has these little tone prints where you can save presets for different songs so you don't have to go twisting the knobs during your performance. And the same deal then with the Hall of Fame 2 by TC Electronic. This is my reverb and it's just, it's like a cathedral in a box. It's great. Um, it's got a lot of different options, a lot of different great sounds. Again, with the tone print thing, you can kind of um, store a lot of cool presets in there. Um, and aside from that, the only other bit of kit that I'm using is a, a radio DI. This is a JDI stereo. Uh, radio preamps are fantastic and they don't require any power. You just literally plug them in uh, as an in-between between your, your guitar signal and the desk and it kind of just tightens everything up. Um, I'm not quite sure how it does it, but it does. Um, so that's what I'm using gear-wise at the moment. It's pretty minimal. I don't really use any other tricks at the desk or any effects like that. Um, this is a kind of a plug in and play sort of a sound. Um, so I hope that helps you if you're looking for a couple of tips about pedals or uh, if you're looking for kind of general tips about how to make your acoustic guitar sound a little bit fuller, a little bit better. This works for me, it might not work for you, but uh, at least you have an insight into what I'm using. And just while I'm here as well, I just want to thank um, all of my sponsors, Maton Guitars in Australia, um, AER in Germany, um, for their pocket tools and their amplifiers, also ACUS um, in Italy for their wonderful amplifiers. And uh, a special shout out as well to uh, David Laboga cables. All the cables I'm using here um, come from David Laboga. They're handmade cables in Poland, um, but they really just bring your signal from here to here. Um, it's a different world. Once you start using these cables, you don't go back. Um, they're, they're essential, I think. Um, and that's it. That's it. No more secrets. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and I uh, hope to catch you at a live gig very soon. Thanks so much.